Hey guys, welcome to your second absolute beginner C++ tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're actually going to be doing some programming. So for now, as you can see, I've written this. Um, just copy it exactly as you see it, because you don't need to know what it means yet. But all you need to know is that in this tutorial, we're going to be making a Hello World program. And so copy this, include iostream, int main void, include all the brackets and whatnot. But for now, we're just going to be doing um, two lines of code, and that is one, we're going to tell C++ that we're going to be using the output function, and then we're going to output the message to the screen. And to do the output, we write C out, and that is not pronounced count, it's pronounced C out. And then the syntax for outputting is a bit odd, it's two less than signs. I guess it's kind of like put whatever's on this side into C, kind of like that. And then this takes a string, which we put in two speech marks. And then we can, whatever we want to output to the screen, we write in this string. And we're going to say, hello world. And now to end any statement in C++, you put a semicolon at the end of it. So once our setups, once we've typed this nice and neatly, as you can see, we have an error, and it says it doesn't. It says unable to resolve identifier C out because it doesn't know what this is. So we need to tell C++ what it is, and we'll be using it. So to tell C++ that we'll be using it, we quite efficiently type using. And then we're going to write STD, which stands for standard, and these are the kind of standard methods in C++, such as output, input, things like that. So we write STD, and then we put two colons, and you can imagine that is kind of, you can picture this as kind of STD being folder, and these two colons mean, like, look inside the folder. And then you can write C out, because that's the method we're going to be using. So again, we're telling C++ that we'll be using a method from the standard library, and that method is C out. Now, in NetBeans, hopefully you watched my last tutorial and you've installed C++ correctly. In NetBeans, hit the run button here. And now that this is done, C++ takes a while to compile. And as you can see, once it's run, you can see hello world. And now that is a basic, this is it for your first tutorial, because I basically wanted to just give you something to do in C++ to get kind of a small feel for it. But in the next tutorial, we'll be doing something a little bit better, something a bit more useful. But for now, that's it for this tutorial. Um, please ask any questions you may have in the comments or on the forums. I know that C++ is a lot more scary than Java and uh, my other tutorials. So, um, so yeah, watch watch my previous tutorial if you haven't watched it already, and then watch this one over again. Understand what's going on here, and in the next tutorial, we'll be doing something even cooler. So. Please subscribe guys, stick around, and I'll see you.